Hey guys, I'm Lily Jang, full-time realtor here in the greater Houston area and also your host of House to Home. Thanks for joining us. Okay, on today's show, you know his name, now see how he lives. We're going to take you inside the stunning River Oaks home of Houston attorney Kent Schaefer and also meet his interior designer, Christine Ho. Also, Houston's funniest home inspector. You guys, he's hilarious. He's also a TikTok star. We're going to introduce you to Trey Hill of Gold Star Inspections. And if you're thinking about being a realtor, meet two powerhouse agents who've created a course to mentor you. But first, let's kick off the show with the hottest homes on the market. Hey, I'm Alexis Page. And I'm Lacey Lugo, and we're with the Collective Group at Douglas Elliman. Welcome to our newest listing, located at 1226 County Road 45 in Angleton, Texas, priced just under $3 million. Let's go take a look inside. Let's go. Situated just 40 minutes outside the city of Houston with close to 4,000 livable square footage and an additional 1,250 square footage in the trophy room. This ranch features two bedrooms located in the main home and a separate guest home that can be utilized as the owner's retreat. When entering the home, you have a gorgeous living space with a rustic chic chandelier, a dining area off to the side, and a well-equipped kitchen, perfect for entertaining guests. Hey y'all, come on in. Welcome to this exquisite trophy room. I love all of the wood accents, coupled with an industrial kitchen. Imagine entertaining friends and family here during the holidays. This picturesque property has a fully functioning horse ranch, complete with 16,000 square foot arena, a 10,000 square foot horse barn, and two ranch hands quarters. This ranch has a 21 stable stall with five breeding stalls included. It is an equestrian lover's dream. This listing's priced at a little under $3 million. For more information, contact the Collective Group. Take, Take care, y'all. Hi, I'm Tommy Walker, founder of Cedar Breaks Realty. Welcome to Point East, located here in East Downtown. We have a collective of 33 townhomes. Before we go in, I want to show you what Interior Homes has designed of our resident park. It has water features, beautiful landscaping, well lit at night. It's just stunning. What I love about Interior Homes, they really think outside the box. They have came up with the delivery package doors. Your any kind of delivery comes in, all you do is you punch your code in, opens, goes in. So whether you have a long day at work or you're on vacation, you never have to worry about safety and security of your packages. When you walk into the homes at Point East, the first thing you notice is the 12-foot island. Every single home has natural marble countertops. We have two different design packages to choose from, whatever meets your taste and personal furnishings. We have plenty of cabinetry in this kitchen, floor to ceiling, plenty of storage space. The Frigidaire range is amazing. It's an induction cooktop and the oven has an air fry function. The backsplash is gorgeous. It goes all the way from countertop to ceiling and is the perfect neutral accent to this kitchen. Every Interra home has the signature oversized windows. Our goal is always to make sure that our homeowners have the choice on whether or not they wanna turn their lights on during the daytime. The high ceilings as well, everything helps to provide a more spacious and light-filled environment. At Interra Homes, our goal is always to make the primary bedroom a true retreat for our homeowners. Here at Point East, the way that we were able to accomplish that was by taking the entire width of this house for the bedroom. And it gives you opportunities for furniture layout, you can create a sitting room, you can put your Peloton here. The opportunities really are endless. We also always prioritize quality of construction and our design. One of the ways that you can see that here is with our eight foot doors throughout. Every single door is eight foot and it is also solid core. That is something that you just do not see at this price point. So this home features our more trend forward design package of the two options here at Point East. As you can see, we have this super fun black freestanding tub. The floor to ceiling tile is stonning, especially this herringbone accent wall. 
You can see we have a rain shower and separate handheld here for convenience, overabundance of cabinetry, stunning white marble countertops. Everything here is of the finest quality. You can also take a look at the closet here. We make it easy for you to just move right in. All of the built-ins are already there, long and short hanging, just bring your belongings. You guys, he is one of the funniest people I have ever followed on Instagram and, it's, and TikTok. <laughs> yeah. How many followers do you have? Oh, 145,000. This is the Trey Hill with Gold Star Inspections. He's an inspector in the greater Houston area. And you have, you're saying, what is it? That ain't right. That ain't right. So you go through all these things mm -hmm. that people are buying these homes and, and it's just a mess. Right, right. So, and it's new construction, all types, and bas basically it's showing what we find as mm -hmm. inspectors during inspection. A lot, a lot of people don't know what we do or what we find. So, and you'd be, you know, it's like, wow, that's there, really? He cleans up well, but he's got the cap on. He's being real. You keep it real and it's hilarious. So you got to follow him. Um, so let's talk about new construction because you deal with that the most. Okay. Okay. So what, if somebody's building a house, what are the steps they need to follow? So How many inspections do they need? First is three phases. So you have a pre-dry, pre, before they do the slab, basically before they put the concrete on the slab. And then in that, you can see rebar, you can see uh, vapor barrier, holes, all kinds of things you can find. But once they lay that concrete, you can't see nothing, it's done. So then after that, you got phase two. Phase two is the drywall. And uh, not, not the drywall, I'm sorry. It's the studs and it's uh, piping and it's electrical wiring and support, all that kind of thing. So it's kind of like seeing behind the walls. Like I like to step through the walls myself because you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like seeing behind the walls and you can tell those things. So that's really important inspection phase too. Last one is just the final. So that one, we check in everything. It's a regular inspection. We run an AC, electrical panel, we check and plug, we check in everything. Plumbing, roof, roof foundation, every single thing. Everything. Okay. And then um, as far as me, uh, for new construction, I go a little bit further because it's new. It's the reason why people buy new. So cosmetic things, I'm gonna put on that too, because that ain't right. I'm gonna put that stuff on there. Because <laughs> that's I the have reason to ask why. You this, though. Did you always know you were funny and you just decided, I'm gonna say what I say I on Twitter? So. I believe so. I believe I've always been this way and I keep stuff, you know, doing inspection. Usually you're just quiet. So as I start talking, I don't know what's gonna come out and that's. That's what comes out. And it comes out on TikTok and he keeps it real. Um, so I want to show you this house here. Okay. When my client bought this house, it didn't have these little holes, which mm -hmm. are the, the weep holes. Correct. Because the builder said that the awning prevents the weep holes from being needed. And so the inspector decided, no, 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 you got to add those. And they did. But yeah. um, that's why you're so important because when the city comes in and inspects, that's a whole nother thing. Yes. Tell me about that. So city inspectors, and I've been at many inspections and they come through, they're looking for certain things and they gone. I asked the guy like, how many houses you got today? 20, 25? They're not staying at the house. So they're looking for certain things, they check it off and they go on to the next one. And of course they miss things also. So city inspectors, you gotta have, everybody gotta have that, but that's not good for the buyer. So yeah, the city inspector, yeah. Yeah, that's, supposed to happen. Right, so the city inspector will give the certificate of occupancy from, from the government, right? But mm -hmm. you want a third party inspection, whether you're building a house or just buying a brand new build, right. because you find stuff all the time. Every time. And the city inspection is one thing, but you've got to have your own advocate. Yeah. yeah, and so you got the city and then the builders, they have their own inspectors, which they should. Mm -hmm. But I, third party, I work for you, the buyer, period, nobody else. So I'm, I'm looking, I'm putting anything, everything that I see on that report. Tell me the top three things you find in new construction that you put on TikTok and Instagram. Let me okay. tell you one thing, a lot of people don't realize, AC, almost every report the AC is not cooling the way it's supposed to be. Even and new, brand new, new AC? brand new. If they don't put enough refrigerant in it, oh. it ain't cooling. So you got a, you're in a new home, you're looking, yeah, it's new, and your electrical bill running up. So it's, Bunch of AC, um, infrared camera, insulation. Okay. Missing insulation. That ain't walls, right, y'all. That ain't right. And walls, ceilings, missing insulation. Uh -uh. So, um, what else? Believe it or not, I do find cracks on foundations. On cracks on the foundation on new construction? On new construction. Okay, and what's causing that? 
a lot of times they, they're going so fast. You know, it takes time for the concrete, right. the slab to actually dry and cure. They're going. So they're gonna, they're gonna put the stuff on it and they're putting weight on it. And a lot of times it's before time. And also the, the, um, the grading around it not supporting that foundation, things like that. So there's different things that can cause it. But for me to see it, yeah. I'm gonna put on that report and now that buyer knows it's there. Most builders have a 10 year warranty on their slab. But now that you know it's there, you know where to go look and check to see right. what's going on. Is it moving or what, you know, so. Trey Hill. He's got your back. Uh, Gold Star Inspections. Gold Star Inspections. If you're buying a house, call him. Yeah. If you're on TikTok, just type in that ain't right and I'll show up. I love it. Good to meet you, sir. <laughs> nice you're to meet hilarious. you too. Thanks for having me. Coming up on House to Home, we take a tour of famous Houston attorney Kent Schaefer's home with the help of his interior designer. Also, you've seen their classic and timeless modern homes for over a decade. Meet the architect and the builder behind Studio Met. I have admired his work for so long and I finally get to talk to him today. This is Sean Gottschalk with Studio Met. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having us. You are the builder, the architect, the designer, all in one with Studio Met. And we're standing in one of your homes, probably going to be completed in September. Tell us all about Studio Met. We're an architect-led design build firm and we build and design modern houses for modern lifestyles. We focus on that and doing it as best as possible. You know what I love about Studio Met is it is a modern home, but it's not cold, it's not sterile, it's very warm. And you have the colors that are all natural. A lot of the materials are natural as well. So I feel like when I step in one of your homes, it's the same feeling of, you're, you're, it's like living. You know, it's not like some modern home, you can't touch anything. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a goal of ours is to make sure that um, you know it's not a white sterile box. We want it to be comfortable, um, you know, cozy and warm. Um, those are often words that get associated with our work. Yeah. Tell me about this house and the materials that you chose and the style and what Studio Met's all about. Yeah, definitely. So in a lot of our work, you're going to see uh, just a natural palette of materials, a lot of earth tones. So um, grays, warm, warm grays, um, you know, um, warm tones. A lot of natural wood to warm things up. Um, a lot got, of French oak. Um, a lot of French oak, white oak. Uh, we've got, you know, pretty consistent with a lot of our work is blurring the boundaries between inside and outside. So you'll see that we're bringing, you know, the brick from the outside to the inside. That becomes a design feature. Uh, a lot of custom built-in cabinets. You have a lot of, um, I feel like you have a lot of the same elements in every home, which is a lot of natural light, sliding glass doors. Some things over the decades just don't change, right? That's right. Because you want timeless. to keep it classic. Yeah, timeless. If I walk into this house in 30 years, it is still relevant, not dated. And is that what all your clients ask for? That is our, one of our primary goals. We want our modern our houses to be um, timeless, sophisticated, modern, but as relevant as they are today, um, that they will be in 20 or 30 years. If somebody wanted to build one of your homes, uh, what part of town do you work in and what is that budget that you're looking at? Yeah, definitely. So most of our work is within the 610 loop and then right outside the 610 loop we do um, a lot of work going west towards the villages and then most of our projects range in the four to five hundred dollars a square foot on average. We work on some projects that are six, seven hundred dollars a square foot, but that's not the, the majority of our work. I feel like all of your homes, there's not one single one that's exactly like the other. They're all unique, right? Yeah, definitely. All of our work is commissioned by clients and uh, they're one of a kind and we tailor um, the project to meet our clients' specific you know, program, uh, their needs, their budget, and specific to the site. Let's take you guys outside. I want to show you the elevation. You guys are on every modern house tour. Your homes are always chosen. Yeah, definitely. We've been fortunate enough to have our projects selected to be on the modern home tour and then also the AIA home tours. That's so impressive. I love that. Tell me about the quality of your home on the outside because a lot of it is commercial grade. Yeah, a lot of our detailing is much more in line with uh, commercial detailing and not conventional, typical residential design. Um, in most of our projects, we're gonna, you're going to see a lot of masonry, which is um, most of our clients definitely want something that's going to be uh, lower maintenance, um, durable long term. So a lot of different masonry on this project. We have brick on other projects. We'll have natural stone. Um, you're often going to get, we've got metal panel here um, that just requires light power wash. Um, and then often you're going to see either some sort of synthetic wood or um, natural wood. Uh, natural woods we're typically doing on the soffits because they don't see the direct light of day and UV. 
Um, so from a maintenance perspective, um, you know, typically we're trying to do something that's you know low key. And for the roof here, it's TPO, right? Yeah, this is a TPO. It's a single applied roof membrane that again is not your typical residential design. It lasts uh, much forever. Much more in com commercial detailing. I love it. This home is going to be done in September. Are you going to invite us to the house for me? Yeah, definitely. Look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sean. Good Great to meet you in person. Yeah, definitely. Straight ahead, come with us inside this fancy multi-million dollar River Oaks home. And two Houston powerhouse agents in their online course to help you succeed in real estate. We're in front of one of the most beautiful homes in River Oaks, and it's even more stunning inside. This is the home of a famous Houston attorney. His interior designer is inside. She's gonna show us around, come on. With us right now is the one and only Christine Ho with Christine Ho Interiors. Hi, Lily. Thanks for being here. This is stunning. I mean, no detail left behind. It's bold, it's dramatic. Tell me the vision that you guys had. So I can't really take credit for this. This was all Kent's vision. He came to me uh, and told me he wanted black and white and that pop of green. And that green was very specific. Um, so we have a lot of patterns, a lot of color, a lot of boldness. In so here. much texture. So much texture. How much of this was you choosing the materials and giving him options or did he do all of it? Um, so he came with a vision and so it made it very easy for me to select the materials and the colors so obviously I would put it all together for him and because he's a very decisive man it was so easy to just hit it and run with it. Tell us the artwork and the pieces and the chandelier. Oh my gosh! The chandelier is oversized for the room but that makes it a lot more dramatic and that is Kent. He is dramatic. He loves dramatic. Same with the art, uh, oversized and very bold. That piece there, um, the frame is very, very intricate. Um, and then I want to talk about the walls. We originally had feel this. paint on the walls and we painted it like five times and then we just could not get it right. And so we added the velour. So luxurious. It is so luxurious. More is more. Sometimes more really is more. From the bold and dramatic dining to this airy living space, I love it. The details, Christine. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so we started off with just a, pretty much a blank slate in this room. Um, I was given the wood paneling and uh, we didn't know what to paint it, either black or white, because the majority of the home is painted black. We opted for white in here, something a little different. Um, and to make it very, very um, Parisian, mm -hmm. we went with an oval trim piece on the ceiling. A year later, Kent was like, I need a little bit more, so we added the gold paint on it. Talk about luxurious. And then the, ce the, the, chandelier, the chandelier as well. The chandelier is from Paris. Yes, from it's France. From it's from a Paris. vintage piece. And uh, I wanted to merge the uh, traditional classic with the modern minimalist look. So we did a very simple fireplace in the black granite. Um, and we mixed it with a lot of the traditional patterns. And you see a lot of that patterning on the carpet, the ceiling, the molding, um, and the drapes. We are in the primary bedroom and it's like royalty sleeps here. <laughs> That's right. It's gorgeous. Tell me about this and the vision and the ceiling and the velour and the velvet and the <laughs> navy. So this room we actually redid um, when I first designed it for Kent. It, wa it was white and gray. Um, I thought it was very serene. Very That's too calming. simple for Kent. Wait till y'all meet him. <laughs> yes, he thought it was plain actually. He used the word plain. So we redid it and we put the boldness in. Uh, so that's why we opted with this darker blue color. Um, it's like a throne. It is like a throne and we got so lucky with that vintage piece. It fit exactly where it needed to fit. That was from France and we found it in a vintage market. So we have wall to wall, uh, upholstered wall, um, upholstered panels wrapped in velvet from floor to ceiling and gold wallpaper on the ceiling with another vintage chandelier in here. Again from France. <laughs> That's right, yep, for yes. France. The bed was custom made uh, locally and we had it custom draped with a matching fabric. 
Walls, bed, and drapes are all from the same fabric, making it very, very luxurious. Are you happy with the layout, all the changes we've done here? We're very pleased with the way everything turned out. Shara, uh, when it comes to this room, had the idea to make it more of a, a dressing room mm -hmm. because she knows that I enjoy clothes and the clothes help me hide my emptiness. And so she, her thought was turn it into a dressing room and so it's actually a lot bigger than hers. We took a, mm -hmm. right. a closet, I'm, I'm sorry, a bedroom, mm -hmm and turn it into a closet slash dressing room. So you have storage for clothing, but on the other side of the tie wall here, there's a whole area where you can, you know, kind of relax, dress at leisure. Department store. Department yeah, store, yeah. exactly. It was, mm -hmm. So Christine was good at being able to source information and find people who could actually do the work to make that vision come alive. And, and it's something in our old house we had done, but on a much smaller scale. And <clears throat> so the thought was that since I had limited years ahead of me, I may as well enjoy, you know, mm -hmm. the, to me the whole ritual of getting dressed and changing clothes in the evening and, you know, just having sort of a fun little environment uh, to come back to. Still to come, if you've always wanted to be an agent, hear about an online course designed to help you succeed. Welcome back guys. From time to time, I want to highlight agents who are doing it right. I want to introduce you, my friends, to Houston Power, two and a half, because she's pregnant, yeah. Houston Powerhouse agents, um, Danny Antello, Alice McCauley, and you guys have created something called Money Moves, which is awesome. Tell me about that. So Money Moves is a program that we are offering for both new agents and also experienced agents who are looking to revamp their businesses. Mm -hmm. um, as you know right now the market's shifting so it's going to be perfect timing. We are going to be launching this program third quarter so it's coming soon. We did it last year, we had great success. People that took the class did really well in their production. Uh, but we really wanted to empower agents to not only set up businesses, but also think outside the box of all the options that they can um, they can do and things that they can become within the real estate world. So when you say outside the box, you mean like they can learn how to flip, they can learn how to host Airbnbs, all of that? All of that. Um, Every model? Right, because yeah. I think uh, when you think real estate agent, you're just, just thinking of somebody that's gonna help you buy a house or sell a house. But there's uh, so much more. There is so much more. Even within the real estate business, you know, you can be a photographer, you can be a marketing coordinator, an assistant. I mean, there's so many uh, avenues within the real estate wor world um, that you can succeed at without being a top producing million dollar agent. So you guys are empowering like the new generation of agents. Very important. Why did you feel the need for this when you got started? <laughs> Such a good question. So I think, you know, Danny's been doing this for 11 years. I've been doing this for seven. And I think we've consistently seen um, there's thousands of agents, right? For example, just in Houston, but the majority of them are struggling. The majority can barely pay their bills. And then there's a very small percentage of us who are top you know, producers killing it, right? Yeah. And I think Danny and I realized, like, because we've worked with so many agents, there's a consistent just need for better. I hate the word real estate agent because we're so much more than that. We're business owners. We're business owners. Yeah. And I think that agents need to completely change their mindset on that. And that's really what this class is about. So we want to teach people, hey, here's the basics to get started. It's all about production, right? So we go into like Danny started with doing rentals from Craigslist. I started doing open houses, you know, um, I think so many agents focus on the the transactional side and getting things set up, but we want to get them into production to kind of get a taste for that commission and that money um, and then flourish from that and put mm -hmm. it in other places and investments. And I think that's one thing that's really missing in this industry is nobody trains us on, that's true. hey, you know, let's get you into production, let's make this money. But most agents, you know, they go broke because they spend it and they yeah. don't know yeah. what to do with it. But the, also, I think what's very good about this class, and we've talked about this offline, is that you're teaching them skill sets and professionalism yes. that doesn't uh, yeah. always exist in any industry, really, but no, you're teaching totally. them things they need to know about life. Like, ba like and honestly, business. basic things. Like, you know, you get your real estate license and then you're thrown into the world. I didn't sell my first house until two years after getting my real estate license because I had no idea where to turn, where to go. 
like nothing, you know, how to set up a, a bank account, how to set up, set up an LLC, like all of these things that nobody tells you about that are so important. Real life stuff. Taxes. Yes. Taxes, Taxes, for example. And we get, we yeah. get calls all the time from agents asking us the same questions. Uh -huh. You know, so that's why we decided to put the program together. Basically, here, here are all, all the questions that we've been asked. Here are all the things that we want to teach you. And this is coming from two women that are literally in production. Yeah, you're in production and professional mentors. Yes. yes. Teaching yes. this course that we, I think, I, thank you, because it's making a better class of agents out there for the for everybody watching and when you're hiring. And also you're providing hope, provi you know, yeah. like, honestly, like, Cheerleader, you can do yeah. it. I right. mean, you know, it's just, yeah. you were not given the information in, in real estate school. I mean, I'm sure you can tell us, Lily, like you went through real estate school too. What did you learn? Yeah. Nothing. I mean, it gives you, nothing. you can't really date, learn. The dates that you apparently are supposed to remember that none of us are ever going to remember. <laughs> But just true. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're so ex so excited for you guys. Thank you, Lou. Yes. Thank Danny Antello, Alex McCauley, yes. my ladies here at Keller Williams Memorial. We'll see you again. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for watching House to Home on KPRC2+. If you guys have any questions about buying, selling, or if you'd like to know how much your house is worth, we're here to help. Please email us, house to home at kprc.com. We've enjoyed having you with us. We will see you next weekend.